Hello, this is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about what to do with a violin that is not set up properly and comes from the music store or Amazon.com and uh, they don't have the bridge cut for the student to uh, be able to tune and play on. The first thing you need to do is look at the bridge very carefully. And sometimes the manufacturer has placed some little grooves here uh, for you to take a file and cut it. And they've done this. Uh, sometimes they put grooves here and sometimes they've actually put pencil markings. And if you haven't done this before and there's nothing there, then you can use another bridge as a template or you can have the strings uh, go over the bridge and then make your own template as to maybe the proper distance that the strings need to be placed on the bridge. The tools in order to do this would be files. These are files from a woodworking kit that you can buy at Home Depot or hardware store and the file tip has to be such so that it is small enough to fit in those grooves and round enough uh, to be able to manipulate and uh, file down that particular area. And you don't need much of filing for these small violin and viola bridges, but I definitely would use bigger tools for a cello bridge. And I would leave a cello bridge to a professional luthier. And no, I'm not a professional luthier, I'm just someone that is trying to uh, fix these bridges so that my students can play on instruments uh, that are maybe less, you know, expensive in nature and they need just an instrument to play on. So once you get the bridge and you get it set up with uh, the grooves and uh, basically where you're going to be um, filing, then you file down into the grooves very carefully and um, enough so that um, a string would go in there. And it varies upon each string. The G string would need to be cut deeper than maybe the D, A, and the E needs very little support. So it's more about what, how deep to cut depending upon um, the string size, which the violin E is the smallest and the G is the thickest, and that's why uh, you would cut less for a violin E than you would for a G. After you're done making the grooves, then take the lead from a pencil and place it inside of those grooves. And this acts as, uh, you know, a, a lubrication to help that string glide as you're tuning it so that you can place it in the violin and uh, get the string set up properly. When you're done cutting the bridge, place the bridge underneath the strings. And then if there are any of these black rubber items that are attached to the strings, place them on top. Yes, the bridge does move and you need to make sure that it is placed exactly by the little cut in the F hole. If there is a name on the bridge, it should face the tailpiece. And let's take a look at at least tuning this. And it'll take some time to tune a brand new instrument. I would start with maybe either the two middle pegs the blue and the green and tighten them up little by little and then make adjustments to the purple and I think it's black which is the G and the E so you start with the D and A and then go to the G and E and then make adjustments on each of them to tighten the strings little by little. Notice that on the G string if you're having problems and the peg is still slipping the string should be wound so that it is on the outer side closer to the peg box 
and uh, when you tighten it, it will hold a little bit better. So um, the proper way to have the string set up is so that um, it looks more like the G string there. The purple and green and blue are so far holding, but they the strings would be tighter against the peg box, and uh, that way when you tune it, it would hold um, the sound a little bit better. Especially as a newer instrument, focus on the pegs. Tune it and then retune it. Uh, wait for about an hour or two or later in the day and then make adjustments and keep doing that until the instrument holds uh, better in tune and, and continue to make adjustments with the pegs first and then if necessary the fine tuners and always make sure that the fine tuners are completely undone so that way you're going to see how well the instrument's going to hold the uh, strings in tune and you know fine tuner should be used for minute um, tuning procedures meaning you should use them very sparingly and little by little and if students do need to unwind these then you the teacher need to help them do this only advanced students really know how to tune their instruments and it is quite a difficult process for a beginning student to do This is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Thank you for watching this video on what to do with a violin that isn't set up properly. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and have a great day.